This is what it means to be a refugee. You're displaced from your home. You're fleeing from persecution, war, and violence. You're most likely separated from your family. And according to the public record, you probably don't exist. This is Hannah Haraki. She lives in Jordan's Satari camp for Syrian refugees. And she didn't use cash or a credit card to buy these groceries. Instead, Hannah used something that you can't forget or lose, her eyes. This eye recognition software was built using the technology that powers Ethereum and Bitcoin, blockchain. The UN's World Food Program brought this device into supermarkets to tackle a major problem refugees face, lack of an identity. There are roughly 65 million refugees all over the world, and over 80% don't have any form of documentation that can prove their existence. The lack of identity crisis doesn't only stop at refugees. About 1 billion people worldwide don't have any form of identification. Without ID, it's almost impossible to go to a bank to withdraw cash or get a credit card. What are normally day-to-day -day tasks like buying groceries are even more complicated for undocumented groups. Here's how WFP's blockchain-backed iris scanning device works. Refugees are registered into the UN's online biometric database. It includes iris scans, fingerprints, health records, and photos. When the device scans a customer's eye, it links to the UN's online bank of iris records. Then it deducts the price of groceries from their WFP monetary aid. WFP normally spends $1.3 billion on paper vouchers to help refugees buy groceries. So they initially introduce their iris scanner to save money. This system eliminates up to 98% of bank-related fees. But WFP's device ended up serving another purpose. It established a record of daily transactions, which serves as a blueprint of a person's identity, sort of like a credit card bill. This information is then recorded on WFP's blockchain. Their digital WFP identity can also help refugees attend school, access banks, and go to the doctor someday. Over 100,000 refugees are using iris scanners in Jordan, and WFP is set to help 500,000 by the end of 2018. Some fear that the combination of blockchain and a biometric system could backfire. Historically, biometric IDs endangered disenfranchised groups, like Jews during the Holocaust and Rohingya in Myanmar. But WFP's blockchain system can only be controlled by WFP itself and nobody else. The need for a digital identity for refugees is recognized by multiple parties. Belgium just donated about $2 million to WFP's blockchain initiatives and there are tech companies helping this cause along the way. As the refugee crisis unfolds, governments, organizations, companies, and more will continue to search for solutions. There is no easy fix, but blockchain technology could reshape how the world approaches helping refugees. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.